today I show you how you can form a normal quad tent into a safari lounge. <laughs> so let's go! So first things first, I just uh, came here to the nice camping site and I usually check first if it's standing like relatively straight, you know, my trailer. This is good, good enough for me. And now we will be setting up the safari lounge. All right, guys, first step, building up a safari tent, opening a beer and enjoy yourself for like five minutes. All right, so after you have enjoyed first sip of your beer, we open up this uh, awning and put that out. It's actually doable. It's my first time doing it all by myself. So let's see uh, how it's working. Let me put that up a bit. So the cool thing about this uh, quad awning here is that all the uh, pillars you need to like support it. Everything is like kind of already in the in this uh, awning like. Uh, set up. See the here in the end there are like the, the the beams to support it. They are just in here. So I guess I just get them out like this. This time no Olga, I'm on a solo trip. No Olga just to help me here <laughs> support them. To support, support the awning a bit here. But it's not so not so difficult actually. So I think now I put that on the ground maybe. I think. Uh, maybe it was not the best idea to put it out already. Okay, so the goal is to set up the safari lounge before it rains, I think. Okay, now you can lift these up a bit. So that's like a reasonable height. Pull those out. Ah, oh, there is this. Uh, okay, this one has to be opened again a bit. All right, this looks good, I think. Okay. And relatively straight. All right, guys, I actually learned that I did it wrong the last time. So this little thing goes actually here in the back. Okay, that looks good. All right, and now we have to find the right side here. Like this. Okay. <laughs> It's missing like oh yeah, a few millimeters here. All right, guys, I'm back and I figured it out. So the bars, you know, they, they had to go a bit in. I had to retract them a bit. And now this, I can show you, it fits uh, very well now. So this whole line is back, back there zipped completely through the whole length. So like it's attached now to the front and the back. Those sides, they are like, are like that. Now you could say, okay, like there's this like bigger part, right? Why don't you use that one? But the tent is, uh, uh, I think it's 250 by two meters. So it's not uh, a cube, you know? So I cannot use those, unfortunately. All right, guys, we are in the safari lounge already. <laughs> and I'm adding the ground sheet here. And it's actually pretty simple. There's only one way it really can go in. And then you're just like, you know, adding the zip around and that I will do and then I will uh, show you the whole finished product in a second. All right guys, the lounge is ready to be seen. <laughs> so we go in here, we're having a couch, as you can see, little table, some decoration in the side, maybe furniture I don't own yet and then you can be here in your uh, tent and can enjoy the day quite nicely. Look in the view in the uh, nature, enjoying the day and you are protected from the rain and you have some light even. <laughs> 
So very important next to the little couch table is of course like a little fur, right? <laughs> and there you have like the piece, centerpiece, the couch. And you have access to the kolba as well. You can pu even put something like as a, a table uh, here on the fender and some deco in the back. Uh, but I think what I uh, will do maybe is to to add some additional bars here um i mean with you know with uh, some uh, nails in the ground it's already stable and everything but um, i would like to have a bit more uh, support here and here it's especially bad as you can see maybe here um, it is like a bit on an angle uh, you cannot see it now to go to the other side uh, it is a bit on an angle like the the whole ground here so that means the cola is way lower than the tent so it stands a bit on a not really even right um, I mean it's not a, not a big problem looks a bit weird I would say uh, but other than that uh, I will have some cowboy coffee now and then I will chill out in my lounge. So it's getting dark slowly and you know <laughs> to enjoy a bit of my lounge here I am making some hot water, making some coffee for me now. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Hey guys, I'm just sitting in my lounge and there's a few thoughts I want to share uh, having my my tea here and um, I think it's a pretty cool addition um, it's pretty easy to set up even alone you know like I did it for the first time so I was not really sure what I was doing here um, but I really like that you don't have any bars that you have to pull uh, you can just hang it in it's uh, pretty simple to do I would say and it uh, protects really good from like let's say the the elements right um and even you know with the with only the top that we had before we were always a bit exposed here you can like kind of hide now or i can hide now at least and and we still have all the other tents that we can use um Unfortunately, my cool uh, lighting is not really working, so that is why I have like this my lantern here at the moment putting in my face that you can see me. Um, but uh, other than that, it is a cool and cozy place to be, and I see a big, big advantage for like this uh, four side door system because like in the summer you can open it up completely. It's pretty cool, and you have like the nets you can see maybe behind me, the 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 meshes for like the anti fly protection and you can still go in the cool bar uh, from here and I like that a bit better than like going from the back in I think um, so that means what I will do next time for you guys maybe is um, also bring the the back tent that we have in the back and um, I think I want to transform this into like our bathroom uh, 
tent and then we can have a little living space here on the side we can have the tarp on the other side for like the outdoor setting so we can like arrange it with the sun set up right it is like always uh, fitting uh, well and in the back we can have like a shower a bathroom set up then I don't really need to do a different um, different uh, setup there uh, or an additional tent we, we were thinking about an additional tent you know uh, so I think we can save that all right um, so stay tuned for the next time then we do some uh, chatting with Pat and uh, maybe uh, another uh, video where we ride out a bit and having having another little adventure on a camping site or something all right guys until then <laughs> have a nice day and always a safe travel Goodbye.